Hey everyone, this is Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for ACR, the Adverse Condition Report, and things are looking pretty messy today. There's going to be some sleet, there's going to be some rain, and there's going to be a whole ton of blood. We're going into round two, Corruption, a bracket B of the top tier tactics, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Xbox 360, 2012 January Tournament. Um, let's just jump into things. If you watched the last match, Deathmatch, you know that these players... Pretty evenly skilled uh, mid-range 50s players. I'm the wingspan TT level skilled player. I'm coming in here after Templar Killer 88. He's my first target. I am the Corrupted. I'm Vlad the Impaler. I'm just like setting this up here so I can use the Templar vision to look around the corner and see who my target is. All right. And I just also saw, if you notice, it's very slight, but I also saw the effect of the um, what is it called? Blender. Uh, blender. The one where the person. Like, moves in the group. Now watch this. This is a bodyguard. Bam! Some people are always like, what do I do if there's a bodyguard? Well, you can't. If you kill the bodyguard, they get a lure and you lose your contract. All right? Um, if you just stay in there like a doofus, the bodyguard will stun you. So, even if you're the pursuer, you can actually, uh, you can just fucking stun a bodyguard. Oh, god damn it. That didn't work out how I had hoped it to. Now, I, I can't get a contract with this guy. He could technically stun me. Um... What? Oh, that wasn't him. All right. All right. Wow, I messed that up. Anyway, my point was when a bodyguard is coming at you and you know for a fact it's a bodyguard, the correct thing to do is to stun it. And that, that makes the bodyguard a race. You keep your contract and the other guy uh, is then fucked. I mean, technically, if they ran up to you and stunned you at the same time, you would get stunned. But most people are just like, ha ha ha, watch him get lured or get stunned by my bodyguard. And then you're like, nope, dot AVI, just in the face to the bodyguard. I mean, is it really fair to say bodyguard has a face when it's an NPC? Now, I know he's in this group. I got my Templar vision. I see who he is. He's the second player. We talked about before, usually in a blended group, the second player is always the person who it is. I get in this just in case he walks by close enough. All right, but I can see it's not going to happen, so I'm just going to run out and take it. He goes for the mute, but he's just a little too late. And I don't blame him, all right? Freaky Chuckles, very good player. But it is not easy to be ready to just mute someone who just runs out of a hidden area, like about 10 feet away from you. You know, the, with the lag, with the fact that mute takes about half a second to go into effect, um, it's just it's just very difficult to react to that. So now we're going to round two, where I'm going to be the uncorrupted. Remember, you only have one round where you start as a corrupted, and then the peekaboo, hide and seek. It's funny that they call this corruption when really this is kind of the way manhunt is played, right? Like when I was a kid, when you're like, oh, we're going to go play manhunt, it was kind of like hide and go seek. Except when you got caught, you had to go hunting everyone else. So this should be called manhunt, and the other round should be called like manslaughter or um, genocide or some shit like that. I mean, it's just really mean spirited by comparison. You have four guys who just go out and hunt four people because they all look the same. What the fuck, Ubisoft? That is fucked up. I can't believe you put that in your game. All right. Um, so whatever. So this guy's clearly a pursuer. Now you might think, oh, well, he's not marked as my pursuer. He's smart. Look what he's doing. He's turning the meter on and off So because when you are not on the person as their contract, the meter is actually more accurate. It shows you where your secondary targets are. So he's using that to his advantage so that he can track me down more quickly and tell which version of me is really me. But of course, the real me is me, and the fake versions are me. Now I noticed that um, I believe that's Freaky Chuckles. I'm not absolutely sure. Someone there moved in next to me. Um, this person's chasing him. I'm just going to let him go. Go chase him. The proximity meter is still telling me only one guy is close to me. Okay, now there's two people after me. There's only one guy close. Dark Assassin's over there, and you want to pay very close attention to where the other guys are. Now, that guy right there is clearly one of my pursuers. Okay, there's someone else who's a pursuer. He's coming. I drop the smoke. I take it. It's time to get the fuck out of here with the teleport. Goodbye, bitches. But no, the super pro move. The most pro move you're going to see in Assassin's Creed by Dinalaristic all fucking day. Mute cancels teleport. And on reaction, he had about a one second window to mute me. All right? And he mutes me on reaction. So very fucking well played, dude. That is gameplay of the round without a doubt. Right there, I would just like to say I was highly impressed to see that. And this is the shit you're not going to see playing against noobs on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Um, mute on reaction to the teleport. So very well played, journalistic, and that marks the end of round two. First place for me here, and we're going into round three again. I'm going to be the uncorrupted. And you'll notice when there's good players, these rounds don't last very long, all right? These matches aren't going to go on for like you know, a full six minutes or seven minutes, like the whole fucking match 
you know, last like four minutes at best. Anyway, um, again, so like, if someone's teleporting, there's only a couple things you could do. A, if you're right on top of them, you can kill them. All right. Uh, hitting gun will kill someone. And here's the other thing: teleport has two parts to its animation. Like it says, the animation takes two and a half seconds, right? But really, the first one and a quarter seconds is the only part where you're vulnerable, and the second one and a quarter seconds. Excuse me, <clears throat> still just coming over this cold a little bit. The second one and a quarter seconds, you're invincible, all right? So the first one and a quarter seconds, if you get killed, that's it. If you get smoke bombed, it interrupts the animation. If you get hit with throwing knives, it interrupts the animation, and I'm gonna get shot. Um, if you get hit with a hitting gun, it interrupts the animation. If you get hit with mute, it interrupts the animation, all right? Um, all those things interrupt teleport, so if you see someone teleporting, if you can on reaction kill them or use any of those abilities, that's just going to end it. You're, you're going to get them, all right? Um, if you're trying to set up a teleport, it's great. You could, if you drop a smoke bomb and then teleport, that's great because it kind of like saves you. But this is going to be the end of the round because he's not escaping from that or one of those things. Um, guys, this has been Bracket B, uh, Round 2, Corruption. From the Assassin's Creed Revelations Top Tier Tactics Tournament. I hope you enjoyed this bracket. Um, there is still one more match, the wanted match on Castel Gandalfo. I hope you enjoyed this round, and I hope you'll come back to see how it all plays out in the final round.